Okay, I want to show you the principle that a gyro compass works on. This is not a gyro compass, this is just an electric um, artificial horizon compass that I took the extra stuff out of, so it's just a plain free uh, gyro. But what I want to show you is how a gyroscope wants to orient to the rotating axis. So I'm going to turn this uh, outer ring, which is just connected to the cage here, to the gimbal here. I'm going to turn this clockwise, and you can see the end comes up. And then once it comes up, I can continue to turn this clockwise. And it doesn't matter if I take and um, push the end down one way, and I turn this clockwise, it comes up and then stays up, or if I push it the other way, is that the other way? Yeah, see, whichever whichever way it is, it takes the shortest path back to pointing up. So, in the case of a gyro compass, this outer ring represents the rotating Earth, and then this always tries to point to the rotational true north or true south. Now you can see if we turn it the Earth the other way, then it turns around and points the other way. So you can see, when I go to turn it clockwise, it can go that way, or if it's already that way a little bit, then it goes that way. It goes whichever way is the shortest path to aligning with the rotational axis. See, for example, I put these wires here up, and I go clockwise, and the wires go down, and up comes their end. But if I put the wires down, and go turn clockwise, it pivots the other way. So it, it pivots whichever way is the closest the shortest path to get aligned to the axis of rotation. Let me turn it backwards here, and it just it, it, see it can go either way. It randomly picks. See, I can go that way, or I can go that way. Whatever the shortest path is, is the path it takes. And now that I'm going counterclockwise, it's putting this end up. And it just keeps it there. And if I'm going, I'm going clockwise now here. And it puts this end up, and then it lets me turn it. So that's basically the element that makes a gyro compass work, and I'll try to kind of simulate that. So I'm, I'm locking, I'm holding my finger on the gimbal here so it can only turn in one direction, and then I'm rotating around as if the whole earth was rotating. See how, see how it aligned? Now I'm going to go back the other way. Okay, I'm reversing the direction of the earth. And the gyro compass spins back around, and it tries to keep aligned with the Earth's rotation. And it's that force that it uses to find the true north. But what I mostly wanted to show here is that the uh, inner part takes whichever the shortest path is. So it could turn one way, or it could turn the other way, whatever the shortest path was, because then it converges on to alignment. And, it, and notice how it kind of um, overshoots a little bit and kind of wobbles back and forth. An actual real gyro compass does that too sometimes, as it finds north, sometimes it'll overshoot a little and then come back and kind of zigzag and then it comes in on zero.